How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Wolfgang the Warlock Expert Mode Let's Play. So in the last episode we were doing a bit of adventuring underground, looking for life crystals and other stuff to boost us up before we make our way to the underworld today, getting ready for our fight with the Wall of Flesh. Now one thing I want to try is a new type of farm in the underworld today because we're going to want to get the Demon Scythe and I checked my blocks box, my box of blocks. And I need sand for this, but I don't have any. Um, so we're going to make our way to the beach and blow up some sand. So let's get started. Ah yes, what a beautiful day here at the beach. It's so nice. And I think it's time to throw some bombs down. And the reason I'm collecting uh, sand, guys, is the farm I sort of want to make in the underworld relies on blocking off some of those buildings. So normally, you know, with a farm, you just have to make a bit of a mob trap. You know, a bit of a volcano sort of thing and no problems. But in the underworld, a lot of the mobs spawn in those uh, underground uh, building sort of things and they get stuck in there and it really lowers the spawn rate. Um, so what I want to do is find a spot where there's only like one of them or even none and just fill it up with a bit of sand. And that way we can easily just chill out, you know, right at the bottom of our elevator and be able to farm stuff really quick. So, I'm probably going to need a bit of sand for this. Um, how much am I going to need? Oh, let's see, a building probably has uh, maybe about a thousand. So, I've got 200, so I'll speed this up and then we'll keep going. Okay, that was a lot of fun blowing up half the beach, and <laughs> now we've got sand. Uh, for the next thing, I'm going to want a bit of lava, um, and that's just to block off any other little spawn points. Alright, so let's make quite a few buckets. Eight? Eight should do it. Um, you can, obviously, more buckets just speeds up the process, but yeah, we don't need to go too crazy on that. Alright, so it's time to make our way down to the underworld and get started. Okay, here we are, approaching the bottom of our elevator and the unexplored underworld. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Okay, so I think I just burrowed down this deep, but we never actually had a look in here. So, okay, there's a few underground houses straight away. That's kind of cool. Um, have I got my shadow key on me? I do. All right, this is, this is pretty cool. So, yeah, basically, all we're looking for at this stage is a nice area. We'll definitely grab a Hellforge. We're looking for a cool area to set up our Demon Scythe farm. And what we want to do is find a spot that doesn't have too many of these underground houses. Are they called underground houses? They're called something or other. Abandoned, abandoned fortresses, something like that. Okay, so let's make our way along here. And hopefully... Whoa! Oh, no, Cthulhu, please don't do this to me. Whoa, hello. Okay, it's all happening. Wolfgang's in battle sooner than he thought. Oh my goodness! <laughs> right, I might start auto-casting a bit. I was trying to aim, but I think I'll just spray and pray. <laughs> spray and pray, guys. Spray and pray. Pay? Spray and pay. Spray and play. Oh my gosh, I'm tongue-tied. Alright. Oh, listen, you. Actually, I might switch to some water bolt action. Okay, this is cool. Now, shadow chest. I think they tend to be on the top of buildings, in my experience. That's in mine, yours might be different, but uh, that's what I tend to find. Alright, okay, there's nothing too special in here. Actually, I shouldn't kill those slimes down there. I'll get lava everywhere. Alright, so let's make our way back to the top. Beautiful. So, it looks like... Actually, have I got a royal gel? I do. Beautiful, let's get that equipped. Ah, beautiful. Slimy's not trying to kill me anymore. It's a nice feeling. Alright, I might even chuck on some potions here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> ah! Ah, oh, yes. I spent time reforging my cobalt shield, and some of you pointed out, you're like, Happy, why didn't you just make a obsidian shield? I'm like, 
Oh yeah, that that would have made sense. <laughs> oh gosh, like we all make mistakes, guys. You know that that's part of being human. It's like yeah, we occasionally mess up. There's nothing you can do about it. It's human to make errors. All right, I'm kind of liking this area. Whoops, didn't mean to use the Reaver Shark. I'm liking this area. You can see on the mini map, it's nice and wide. So if we build the trap about here between the two buildings. All I need to do is fill in this area down here. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking that. So, what we're going to do is build a... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to dash off there. Alright, let's take the shield back off. Put that shark tooth back on. Alright, so what I'm wanting is... Like my normal volcano traps, I want a place where mobs can fly in. And obviously die in lava. That's always nice. Alright, let's get that up there. Beautiful. And then I want to be able to stand underneath, and then the mobs will come in from the sides. And because there's so much natural lava underneath us, they, I don't think they can spawn in lava. Except for bone serpents, obviously. So it's not going to be an AFK farm, because I'll die to bone serpents. But uh, it's still better than manually fighting everything on the planet. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay guys, the farm is coming along nicely and I've been filling up the rooms with sand which is cool. Now what we need to do, so the demons are flying nicely into the pit, uh, which is a good start. Now I need to make like an inverted pyramid on the top and this way they can sort of get forced to fly in there a bit better. Um, so what we need to do, and I was just starting it then, is actually fill up this top area with a bit of dirt. And yeah, so we'll have like a narrow opening. I don't know, it'll probably go a bit like, oh gosh, bat. <laughs> bat, bat, killer bat. All right, let's get rid of him. Oh my gosh, thanks bat. So yeah, we'll build it a little bit up. And then basically I'll start building like, yeah, an upside down pyramid this side. Oh my gosh. Sorry, the, the spawn rates here are insane. Which is good, which means we'll get our demon scythe nice and quick. Um, so yeah, so we'll be building the upside down... Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really hard to... Alright, I think I've got... Alright. So yeah, we'll just do the same sort of design over here. Boom, like that. And then start building it up like that. Actually, no, I'll leave the top full, wouldn't I? Yeah, so then the mobs will glide in there. I'll put some dart traps along here. And uh, yeah, that should pretty much do it. And I might even open a small like attack hole so I can shoot through as well. So it's still a little bit to do, but it's kind of fun. I haven't built a farm for a while, so I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. So I'll keep the sped up segments going and I'll see you when it's done. Alrighty, our farm is almost ready. The next thing we need to make is a couple of timers for um, to activate some dart traps I'm going to put in it. And silly me has not been saving them, so I'm going to have to quickly uh, hold a wrench out and look for any traps as we're going back down to the underworld. But anyway, first thing we're going to do is make, let's see, we need to make some chains, uh, which are made with just one piece of iron or lead. And then we need to go to a table and chair, let's see, is that a table and chair? And we're going to make silver watches, and I'm going to make about mm, four of them. Yeah, four, I should make five, one for good measure. Yeah, let's make five. And silver watches turn into three second timers, which I know I normally use one second timers, but um, three is as fast as a 
um, dart trap will activate. Okay, guys, here's the finished product. And, uh, yeah, it, it's a kind of interesting uh, challenge to make a farm in the underworld before hard mode. So, the biggest challenge was that the mobs are immune to lava. Um, I thought, oh yeah, just an easy lava trap, that'll be simple. But, uh, no, you can't do that. So, basically what I've got is, I've set up the dart traps to individual timers. And by turning them on manually at different uh, times, you can actually make them fire... You know, it's a fairly steady stream of darts going through there, which is kind of cool. Um, I've also got a pressure plate here just to deal with fire imps when they turn up, um, which is kind of nice. And I also made a shooting gallery up the top, so, you know, if I just feel like mixing it up, you can go up there and shoot your diamond staff through, which is kind of fun. And then I also put a shooting hole through here uh, if you wanted to speed things up too. So you can always just manually kill a few, so that's kind of fun. Um, I've been at this for a while though, and uh, yeah, I haven't got a demon scythe uh, full yet, so I'm kind of hoping it happens soon. Um, if not... Oh, lava draining system too, by the way. Um, if it doesn't drop soon, I'm probably going to start building our uh, wall of flesh runway, and then just... it might just drop while we're doing that too. Um, so I'll keep it this for a little while longer. Um, but this is the reality of farming for rare items, guys. Sometimes, sometimes it just takes a long time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. We finally got it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was... That was interesting. Oh, my goodness. Um, anyway, we've got it now. Which, uh, actually, decent modifier on it too. Masterful. Um, yeah, yeah, I like that. So, as you can see, I've got a ton, a ton of voodoo dolls. And we've got some magma stones and all that good stuff. So, I think we won't muck around. I reckon we'll get some, uh... I don't think there's any better mana gear you can get before hard mode. So, I think what we'll do is pretty much build our Wall of Flesh arena and get this happening, guys. Okay, here we are, back in the underworld, and we are starting to create our awesome, lovely War Flesh Arena. And I just noticed there's a shadow chest there, so we are definitely going to have a quick look inside and uh, grab some of its awesomeness as I destroy buildings. Alright, let's see. Oh, I put it in the safe. Let's see. Okay, put the shadow chest key away. But we better not do that. The Flame Lash. Whoa, that seems awesome. Okay, let's just clear out Mr. Bat. Is this the one that you can control? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. But it seems like... Whoa, that's a cool weapon. Nice damage. And it's controllable too. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think we just found an upgrade to our water bolt, maybe. I don't know, it's pretty strong. Oh gosh, so many cool magic weapons. Wow. Okay, let's pick up these... Oops. Let's pick up these chests, too. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to the right side of the world for a change. I noticed, um, I always go to the left for some reason. I don't know why. I can't explain it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and I'm loving the Demon Scythe, too. Such a powerful, um, spell. So, yeah, these are really going to help having these two new weapons uh, once we get to hard mode. So, well, assuming we can beat the Wall of Flesh. <laughs> um, although, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, the cool thing about these magic attacks are their area of effect. So... You know, Water Bolt and the Flame Lash. Like, it looks like they're going to do a fair bit of damage to the Hungries, which is the biggest problem with uh, Expert Wall of Flesh. So, and yes, that reads 500th Hellbat. I was farming for a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so much farming. Goodness me. I don't know. <laughs> but there's something really rewarding when that item finally drops. You know, if you know you've been doing it, and you've been farming legit, then it feels good when it finally drops. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to bother too much with 
uh, the sunflowers this time. Um, Wolfgang's pretty fast. And if I drink a swiftness potion too, I think I should be okay. I think so. I'd use the slime mount, but it doesn't really... It's quite slow. Um, so I don't think that's going to be a, a boon to us. Let's see how they go against him. Yeah, so good. Anyway, guys, so I'll get this finished, and then we'll just make a few potions, and we'll fight the Wall of Flesh. Okay, here we are, back at base, and it's time to do some powering up before we fight the Wall of Flesh. And the first thing I need to do, embarrassingly, is finally make the uh, Obsidian uh, Shield. So, I need to make the Obsidian Skull. Now, is that one you're making an anvil? In front of an anvil? Beautiful. And now if we go to the Goblin's Workbench, we should be able to upgrade that. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got so much mana. Okay, and now we need to sort of think about what accessories do we want to use for the battle. Oh, I had an Obsidian Skull. Okay. So Panic Neck, the Sweetheart Necklace is probably going to be good because it'll speed me up. Um, shield is a must. Uh, Magma Stone, oh, I don't know. Royal Gel, probably not. And Boots, definitely going to need them. Um, let's see. Oh gosh, if I had an Aglet, I could probably make Lightning Boots. But I don't have the Aglet yet, which is a little unfortunate. Um, no, I think that's kind of cool. This spot, don't really need the Magma Stone, although I like the Lucky on it. That's kind of nice. Unless we took the Cthulhu Shield for the dash and the extra defense as well. So it's 31 defense, Lucky. Actually, we've got a fair bit of Lucky, which gives us a really nice crit chance, which I'm, I'm enjoying that. So, yeah, maybe we'll just uh, re-roll our Art Obsidian Shield then. Okay, let's see. Hopefully not too expensive. Oh, it's okay. Well, let's go for Lucky or... I'm not liking Menacing at the moment. Um, I think it's better late game, but not so much early on. Uh, oh gosh. I'm looking for the 4 gold 80 uh, reroll, but we might have to stop being so picky. Angry, no. There yeah, may be defense. Okay, 34 defense, that's pretty nice. And I've got a few crit modifiers. Alright, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's kind of cool. Okay, next thing is potions. So let's see, what have I actually got? Uh, a thorns is nice. Heart reach. Yeah, that's good because the hungries drop hearts. Um, and if you can grab them, that's really nice. Ooh, mana regen. That's a nice one. Okay, and let's see what we can actually craft. With our lovely alchemy station. Ooh, a titan potion. That's kind of nice. Okay, we like that. Uh, what else can we make? Actually, swiftness. Okay, I'm going to have to check the recipe because none are available. Uh, regen, definitely. Let's make a third one. Uh, oh, no, there's swiftness. What was I... What was I yabbering on about? Oh, I've already got a few. That's okay. Let's make some more iron skin. Uh, they last for seven minutes, so they're pretty sweet. Ooh, magic power, yeah. Okay, let's make quite a few of those. And what else? What else is here? Crate, no, builder, flippers. I think that's it, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, that's a pretty nice lineup of potions. And we've got one cooked fish left. <laughs> Just enough. Oh, we need to re-roll our accessories quickly. Oh, I mean our weapons. So, what am I likely to use... I'd say the... Probably going to be using the Diamond Staff a lot. I think the Demon Scythe... Yeah, we'll probably use that. I'm not sure if the Flame Lash has a... Um, I don't know if it has Piercing Attack, so I'm a little bit... A little bit doubtful about this one. So let's just put Masterful on it, and that'll be sweet. And let's try and reroll this. Superior. I've only got 8 gold left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, only got 8 gold. Should we just take Superior? That's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll take that. Okay. Let's favorite all these. And I think we're good to go. Let's make our way to fight this evil boss. Oh my god. 
Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching another episode of Wolfgang the Warlock. Oh, oh I'm so pumped to fight the Wall of Flesh, and oh, I hope we do okay. And I'm kind of confident, though, ma mages uh, seem to have some pretty high damaging spells. And that Flame Lash we just got is going to be so, so useful. And I'm really happy we got the Demon Scythe, too. But here's my big question for you guys. What are your tips for when we first get into hard mode? I haven't played a mage for a long time, and let alone done it in expert mode, which didn't exist the last time I did a mage character. So, yeah, what do you think we should do first? What are our goals straight away? I mean, for example, you know, we're in a crimson world, so maybe getting some icor uh, would be a good idea. And I don't know, what do we need to make the golden shower? It's a pretty good magic weapon, so maybe focus on that. I don't know, let, let me know, guys. Anyway... Time for some shout-outs, as always. And our first one is from Dane, Dane the Beast, Gunjik. Gunjik, I think I said that right. And they've asked me to say in a Terminator voice, I'll be back for more cookies. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's really cool. <laughs> Thanks, Dane. Our next one is from Kyan Potter. And they've asked me to say in a guide voice. I haven't done the guide before. Hmm, the guide, let's see. Even I need some cookies. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor guide. He's been missing out. No one talks about the guide. Oh, a strange plan. Hello. <laughs> Our next one is from iPageGT. And when I read it, it reminded me of Dragon Ball GT. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And they've asked me to say in a Yaren voice, I need to achieve my ultimate dream, the cookie yo-yo. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to getting the uh, Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo. That sounds, it seems pretty awesome. And uh, I've only used it a bit, but it's pretty strong. Thanks, iPage. Our next one is from A Gamer. Their name is just A Gamer. And they've asked me to say in a deep voice, Me want cookies. Where are the cookies? I want cookies. Ah. <laughs> Reminds me of that Guardians of the Galaxy, that Groot guy who just keeps going, I am Groot. <laughs> Thanks, A Gamer. And our next one is from William Gaming. And they've asked me to say in a cookie voice. Cookie voice? I guess that would be high and innocent down. He'd be like, and they've asked me to say, please don't eat me. So I'd be like, please don't eat me. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Alright guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video and and there was a lot of editing in this video. Can I just say like the farming, building the um, uh, wall of flesh arena, like a lot of stuff that I edit out for you guys just to make the episode flow more smoothly. So if you do appreciate that and you do like me doing it, make sure you let me know by leaving that thumbs up because that's why I put so much effort in for you guys. Um, I don't mind doing it, but you know, take a moment to show your um, appreciation for it by clicking the like button. Uh, comments, as I said for today, I'd like to know what your suggestions are for our mage once they get to um, hard mode. Um, so yeah, what, which armor should we get first? What spells are we looking for? Yeah, let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. Here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya! And that means that Ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just, oh he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!